Welcome back. A downriver photographer who's been sidelined since the stay at home order went into effect, uh, has been staying busy by drawing on the sidewalk. Never did she expect her skills with sidewalk chalk would get this much attention. Tim Pamplin has the story from Woodhaven. Hello. I knew that we were going to be in for a treat when I pulled up to Rebecca Lowe's house. There she is with her son, Colby. Her artwork is getting quite a reputation downriver. So we found a five by five patch of concrete in the driveway. And I said to her, I'm just gonna have you do your thing. Prepare to be amazed. We just go. This mother of four says, We gotta figure out a way to make this work. She's talking about the quarantine. As you say, she's sidelined from her profession as an accomplished photographer. In fact, this shot of her niece became the cover of the Francis Hill novel, Deliverance from Evil. You know, as an artist, I'm just, I'm kind of desperate to be, you know, out and doing something. So since I couldn't do the photography, I had to figure out a way to get out there and just be creative as I could be, you know, while staying my distance. So she's hit the streets of Woodhaven and Trenton, cheering up the neighborhoods one sidewalk at a time. She did this one earlier today outside the Trenton Moor Memorial. I always try to pick something that is going to be inspiring or you know put people in an uplifting mood you know a positive message just to get those vibes out there to get people happy and get them rolling through their walks and you know cheer them up a little bit she got a call from one of the local fire chiefs she actually got a hold of me and asked if i would come out and write a letter to everyone thanking them for all of their support and obviously, I, you know, I was absolutely honored to do that. With all the joy you're spreading, I think you're essential, Rebecca. <laughs> essential for happiness and smiles, yes, but I am making sure that I'm staying at least two llamas away from everybody. I have a llama circle. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? So here you go, here's the time lapse. It took her about 20 minutes to do this unicorn. Fascinating to watch. And so much joy for all the families walking around during these tough times. That's the scene in Woodhaven tonight. Tim Pamplin, local for...